I haven't checked in with you for a bit. Are you holding up? I think I'm doing all right. I mean, I wouldn't be here still if I wasn't, right? True. There's not a lot of patience for mediocrity around here. Reminds me of something my old man used to say. Good enough is only good enough if you're good enough. He really had a way with words. I think what he meant was you can coast by if you have the talent, but if not, you better work twice as hard to make up for it. Makes sense, I guess. Does he offer you gems like that all the time? Not anymore. We haven't really talked in a while. Yeah, anyway, speaking of working twice as hard, in Mexico, two out of three false matches are very popular. I was thinking it would be cool if you and I had one here at the PC. What do you think? That does sound cool. But I don't think I'm up for it today. Maybe some other time. I'd ask if you're the trainee everyone's talking about, but I know having access to the PC means not engaging in WWE gossip. An exclusive for my podcast is not worth getting kicked out of here, but could be cool for my listeners to hear about a match between a WWE recruit and the indie wrestler who's training here today. That's not breaking any rules, right? I was watching some older stuff on the network the other day, and it got me thinking how cool it would be to have a hardcore match. But it's pointless since the coaches would never let us do it. Well, what if, and, and hear me out on this, we did it super early in the morning before anyone got here. How would we even get in the building? I'm boys with Todd, the security guard. He gave me my own key. That guy really is bad at his job. We'd come in here bright and early, have our hardcore match, clean up all the plunder, and no one finds out. Trust me, it'll be fine. On second thought, I'm not sure I trust the judgment of a guy who used to dress up like a giant rib. I think I'm gonna have to pass.
Hey, rookie. You have a passport or no? Uh, yeah. Why? Turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish out one more match of my... Don't know how easy it will be for you, but I'll do it. When do we go? Not so fast. Obviously, this is a huge opportunity, so Hector and Chase won it in, too. So you're gonna face them in a triple threat match for the right to lose to me in Japan. Good luck.
Uh, guys, what the heck? Uh, it was like this when we came in? Clean it up now, and then come find me. We're gonna have a little talk. So, give it to me straight. Who do I blame for what went down out there? I'll admit, I floated the idea, but Chase was the one who convinced me to do it. He even had a key to let us into the building. Freaking Todd. <laughs> yeah, if anything, it's Todd's fault. Stop trying to throw people under the bus, both of you. Man, you two are snitches. And snitches get riches. That's not how the saying goes at all. So here's the deal. Since you both are to blame, and you both seem to love hardcore matches so much, I'm gonna let you have another one to get it out of your system. Only this time, it's going to be under Iron Man rules. Is it gonna be a triple threat with Todd? Since you know he was also to blame. No, and don't ever do anything like this again, or the punishment will be 10 times worse. Now get out of here. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, we mean you're gonna face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. 
So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I wanna really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait! We almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. But man, the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that.
I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. I accept. And after what I did today, I expect you to treat me like the top superstar that I am. You won one match. I'm hoping it's not, but it could have been a fluke for all I know. So until you really prove yourself, I'll treat you however I want. Aw, it's our first fight. Don't make me regret this. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing on Raw, but without the lame attitude and nickname. Wait, you got signed to Raw? Yeah. Uh, did you not see me beat one of their top superstars? No, I did. I just thought they would recognize it was a total fluke like I did. But I guess every brand needs curtain jerkers. I'm really gonna miss you. Hey, I heard you're going to Raw. Congrats. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. But maybe we'll cross paths again sometime in the future. Never say never around here. That's right. Buena suerte. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come. Trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right, but that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm onto something. Chase? Congrats on getting signed to Raw. Think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. 